Let's say you have something you need to carry across a body of water. Now let's say you have 70,000 tons of that something you need to transport. In a situation like this, there's only a few ships that can do the job. Today, we'll be telling you about three such ships. Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo, where today we'll be telling you about heavy lift ships, showing you what they're used for, and more. If you enjoy this content, make sure to subscribe to see more like it. First up, we have the Sunrise. This vessel is 169 meters long and 40 meters wide, currently sailing under the flag of the Marshall Islands. Its cargo capacity is 24,600 tons and has a gross tonnage of 22,400 tons. It is powered by two engines with a total of 12,200 horsepower and can reach a maximum speed of 13 knots. The Sunrise was built in 2012 in China. Ever since, it's been transporting huge loads across the high seas. Next we have the Super Servant, the largest yacht carrier of its kind, designed to provide high storage capacity and high browsing speed. It was built in 2007 in China and is now sailing under the Netherlands flag. This ship is used to transport yachts and floating cargo across the ocean. It has a cargo capacity of 12,500 tons and a gross tonnage of 17,900 tons. It has a total of 22,700 horsepower and can reach a top speed of 18 knots. Up next, we have the Fort. This vessel was built in 2012 in China, but is now performing its services under the Maltese flag. It is used to install offshore wind turbine foundations and the installations of oil and gas structures. It can be equipped with a dynamic positioning system that automatically controls the position and heading of the ship. 
using thrusters and an advanced control system measuring 217 meters long by 43 meters wide. It has a gross tonnage of 36,600 tons and a cargo capacity of 48,000 tons. It has four engines with a total of 18,400 horsepower and can reach a maximum speed of 14 knots. Next we have the White Marlin. This vessel was built in 2015 and is presently in service by the Dutch business Boscalis. It is a next generation cargo vessel measuring 217 meters long by 63 meters wide. It has a carrying capacity of 72,100 tons and a gross tonnage of 51,000 tons. This vessel has been used to move huge items or constructions, such as drilling platforms as well as to place decks on ships. It has four engines totaling 23,600 horsepower and can achieve speeds exceeding 14 knots. Next we have the GPO Amethyst. This ship was built in 2018 in Taiwan. It sails under the flag of the Marshall Islands and is one of the most modern ships of its kind. This vessel is one of four that transport drilling rigs, dredging equipment, cranes and other goods. It has a carrying capacity of 63,000 tons and is 225 meters long by 48 meters broad. It is propelled by four engines producing 31,000 horsepower, allowing it to attain a peak speed of 13 knots. Next, we have the Hawk from the transport company C7. This ship was constructed in Croatia in 1989. It now sails under the Norwegian flag. It is designed for use in offshore installations and features a big platform and a high-capacity ballast system. It also can move the world's heaviest equipment, including drilling platforms and wind turbines. It is 226 meters long and 45 meters wide. It has a cargo capacity of 64,000 tons. Its max speed is 14 knots and has a single engine with a total output of 18,100 horsepower. You are now looking at the Zheng Yuan Kao. 
It is a 217 meter long and 43 meter wide cargo vessel that was built in China in 2011. It has a cargo capacity of 48,000 tons and a gross tonnage of 35,500 tons. It has four engines producing 20,800 horsepower and can achieve speeds of more than 13 knots. It is engineered to do loading and unloading operations on the high seas and can transport massive objects such as oil platform constructions. The Genoa 29 is a semi-submersible heavy cargo ship designed to carry large floating and non-floating cargoes. Since 1987, it has been operating under the Hong Kong flag. It can transport large platforms, modules, or gantry cranes that measure as much as 245 by 42 meters and are used to load and unload containers from ship to port. It has a cargo capacity of 51,500 tons and a gross tonnage of 41,500 tons. It has one engine with a total output of 13,200 horsepower and can reach a top speed of 14 knots. The Jinhuanghua sails under the Hong Kong flag. It was manufactured in 2016 in China. This vast transport vessel is 255 meters long and 68 meters wide. It is equipped with a diesel and electric propulsion system and has a gross tonnage of 84,500 tons. Its carrying capacity is 98,000 tons and it can be used for dry transport of ships, drilling rigs, offshore structures, or construction equipment. It has two engines with a combined output of 28,000 horsepower and can reach speeds of more than 13 knots. Last but not least, we have the Boca Vango, which was built in South Korea in 2013. It is a new generation, semi-submersible, heavy transport ship, formerly known as the Dockwise Vanguard. It sails under the Curaçao flag and is used to transport massive offshore constructions and equipment. It is handled by a 40-person crew and can transport greater goods because of its lack of a bow. 
it is 275 meters long by 27 meters wide and has a cargo capacity of 116,000 tons. This ship's top speed is 12 knots and is powered by two engines producing 35,400 horsepower. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you check out one of these too. Feel free to like and subscribe, we always appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you next time.